I'm not as bangable as the previous hopes. E Skip it up and that up. I'm sure none of you uh, forget about this banger that happened recently on G4 TV. Uh, Frost's take on women in gaming. Let, let, let's just give you a, a little highlight reel of it again. But I actually want to talk about something so much more important than Red Dead Online. Sexism in gaming. <laughs> talk to him, Frost! It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. That's it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird! It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. I'm not going into all that again. You know what happened. You know what she said. You know the misinformation that is in there. And you know that that is the perfect way to feed the trolls, especially when <laughs> I made a video on this too, where you have to be a member for a month to chat in their YouTube live streams because that's not troll food at all like pounds of it's like a troll it's like going to a cheap chinese buffet for trolls they're just going to come back for seconds and thirds and fourths and fifths and birds they're just it's you were doing ex you were playing into their hands to the nth degree the speech blocking people from talking unless they're a member for a month in a live stream and all it's going to do is accelerate exactly what you're looking to stop. But this is what happens when you have 20 somethings running a television show and you have an embittered old man who needs who who needs money. Well, G4 TV senior vice president Blair Herter uh, actually doubled down on Indiana Black's take or Frost's take. In a tweet that he posted, um, basically telling a whole bunch of people not to watch him. Now, I understand the base that he is talking about, but when you're a gaming network solely dedicated to gaming, you don't want to alienate a portion of your base, a sizable portion of your base. And I'm not just talking about sexist people that truly are sexist. I'm not okay with that either. I'm 110% on board with being anti-sexism. I agree with you on that. But when you're trying to lump criticism and other things into there, that's valid, genuine criticism and saying, oh, if you, if you don't like what she had to say, then don't watch. Well, you're pretty much just putting the final nail in the coffin of your fledgling rebirth network. And it's absolutely incredible. Anyway, this is what he had to say. Yes, it was a while ago, but nonetheless, take a look. Grateful to spend my life with a woman who smashed glass ceilings. Honored to work with the women of G4 TV's past and humans like Frostkin today. Proud to work at a place that makes stuff like this. If you don't hear the below, unfollow me and don't watch us. We're not for you. Now, look, many of you have, have said, Rich, but you talk about everything on your YouTube channel and you started out as tech and gaming. And I'm like, first off, no, I always talked about everything. <laughs> like even before I was Review Tech USA, even when I like it always has been that way with me. It's always been the precedent that I've set. I'm sure it shot me in the foot and it's sure I'm sure technically it's me punching my career in the face from time to time. I'll be the first to admit that. But I've always had a large breadth, I think it's the right term to use, of content on my channel. It's just always the way it's been. G4 TV, they're trying to bring back as a gaming-centric channel. And when you virtue signal on a channel where it's supposed to be about one thing, people are going to get pissed off especially when there's misinformation in the speech that someone gave. I'm not going into Indiana Black or, Fro or Frost's whole rant again. I've beaten that to death. But just think about this. Oh, Rich, why can't they say something? It's like you just want them to be quiet. No, I'm not saying to shut up and dribble the ball like some other people have said. But imagine this. Think about this. Imagine Mark Cerny coming out on stage and going, Hello, everybody. I want to talk about the architecture of the PlayStation 5. But before that, I want to say that I wish all Republicans would die. And I hate you sexist pigs. If you are a Republican or you're sexist, don't buy the PlayStation 5. 
I hate you. You're disgusting. And you're fascist. That would never happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? If they were a commentary channel, like what I do, and what other channels out there do, then fine. But when you're trying to package a product as a gaming product, and then you polarize your audience, <laughs> what do you expect to happen? And then on top of it too, I'm not going into the whole thing again. Then on top of it, they're not even putting out great content. They're, they're putting out perfectly fine reviews that you could see everywhere else. We were watching them last night. I was watching Adam Sessler talk about Halo Infinite. What is the back in 2004, 2003, 2005, etc., when there was no other options? Sure, I watched it, we watched it, and it, it's kind of par for the course. I mean, more there was an uh, interaction in chemistry between Morgan Webb and Adam Sessler that I think made X play really good. But you watched back then because if you wanted to watch something about tech and gaming, it was either that or there was that. Now in 2022, there is a flood of gaming related content and there are people that do it 10 times better. I know Scott the Waz is on G4. He is like the best damn thing on there. The best damn thing. And you know what Scott was doing before he was on G4? He didn't have a whole slew of people working with him. He did it on his own, mostly. And he was making better content than 99.9% .9 of people on the platform. And that's the thing that I think a lot of you, all you need today, and I've said this in live streams, is a phone, even a mid-range one. You don't need an iPhone 13 and a decent lighting kit. And if you have the talent, you could blow up on this platform. It's a very, very slim chance. I don't want to make it like, oh, anyone just get a phone and talk into it and you'll be a millionaire. No, it's not how it works. But it, it with technology now, there's many people that who are talented who could do things that they couldn't do even back in 2003, 2004 because the technology wasn't there yet. Now you could have a phone, lights, and if you are creative enough and you, you garner a following, you could be successful and you can make content that looks like it's TV production value with a damn phone. I understand there's, you know, red cameras and all the other crap out there. I'm not getting too, but you get my point. There's nothing special that G4 offers. It feel, and you watch their videos, it just feels, even if this never happened with Frost, put all that crap aside, I would still be saying this. When you look at their videos, I'm like, oh, it's a relic of the past that should have stayed in the past. Sad. It's that simple. And then to have people like Blair Herter, the G4 TV vice president, sitting there telling people not to watch. Would any other executive, top executive at a company, would executive from Sony or Microsoft ever do that? Would you ever see Phil Spencer doing that? I know I brought up uh, Mark Cerny before. No, of course not. This is a train wreck that is happening in super slow motion. And I'll, I'll be honest with you. Yes, it does entertain me because they're, they're just continuing, continuing to die on this hill. And they're staying on the hill until every one of them has perished metaphorically. This is Rich, a review tech USA signing out. Have a good one.